Nudge. Improving Decisions About Health, Wealth, and Happiness. Nudge, by Richard Toller and Cass Sunstein is a compelling book that explores how small changes in the way choices are presented can significantly impact our decision-making. The authors introduce the concept of nudging, which involves designing choices and environments to encourage individuals to make better decisions in their best interests. Toller and Sunstein emphasize the potential of nudges in improving various aspects of life, including health, finance, and overall happiness. 1. Introduction. Humans and Econs. The authors contrast the traditional economic theory that assumes people always make rational decisions, econs, with the reality that human decision-making is influenced by biases and heuristics. They introduce the concept of choice architecture, which refers to the design of decision environments. 2. The Power of Default Options. Toller and Sunstein discuss the significance of default options in decision-making. They explain how setting certain options as defaults can significantly impact choices, and how governments and organizations can use this concept to guide people towards better outcomes. 3. Nudging Health. In this chapter, the authors explore how nudges can be employed to encourage healthier behaviors and choices. They discuss the use of prompts, reminders, and incentives to promote positive health outcomes. 4. Wealth. Save More Tomorrow. Toller and Sunstein introduce the Save More Tomorrow program, which encourages individuals to commit to saving a portion of future pay raises. This program leverages the power of inertia to help people improve their savings habits gradually. 5. Libertarian paternalism is not an oxymoron. The authors discuss the concept of libertarian paternalism, which involves using nudges to guide people's choices while still respecting their autonomy. They argue that well-designed nudges can enhance individual freedom and welfare simultaneously. 6. Putting nudging to work. The results. Toller and Sunstein present real-world examples of successful nudges, such as improving retirement savings, organ donation rates, and energy conservation. They demonstrate the positive impact of nudging on various aspects of society. 7. Objections. In this chapter, the authors address common objections and criticisms of nudging. They acknowledge concerns about manipulation and potential abuse of nudges while arguing that transparent and accountable nudges can be beneficial. 8. Nudge in education. Toller and Sunstein explore the application of nudging in education settings. They discuss how behavioral insights can be used to improve student performance, reduce dropout rates, and enhance learning outcomes. 9. A nudge for the environment. This chapter focuses on using nudges to encourage environmentally friendly behaviors. The authors discuss the effectiveness of nudges in promoting energy conservation, recycling, and sustainable practices. 10. Save the planet. 13 nudges. Toller and Sunstein present 13 practical nudges aimed at addressing climate change and environmental challenges. These nudges offer innovative solutions for encouraging pro-environmental behaviors. 11. Bonus Chapter. The Real Third Way. In the bonus chapter, the authors propose the Real Third Way, which combines elements of traditional laissez-faire policies and active government intervention. They argue that libertarian paternalism, based on well-designed nudges, can be a practical and effective approach to address societal issues. Conclusion. Nudge presents a thought-provoking exploration of how subtle changes in decision environments can lead to significant improvements in people's choices and behaviors. Richard Toller and Cass Sunstein make a compelling case for the power of nudging to positively influence various aspects of life, including health, finance, education, and the environment. The book highlights the potential of nudging as a policy tool that respects individual freedom while guiding people towards better outcomes. By understanding and leveraging the principles of choice architecture, individuals, organizations, and governments can create environments that nudge people towards making decisions that promote their own well-being and lead to a more prosperous and sustainable society. Read this book now. Link in description.